Hello everybody and welcome to the first Star Wars Battlefront 2 class guide. In this video I'm taking a look at the Assault class and the Assault class is effective at short to medium range. The Assault is the class to use if you want to punch a hole through the enemy lines. The Assault class is the average class that I would personally recommend to any new player to try out first because they are fast, tough, and perfect for a new or average player. The Assault class specializes in attack and its roles on the team include direct attack and flanking. They are moderately durable with 150 health points and are very mobile so you can escape combat if needed. This class is armed with close to medium range weapons that have moderate damage. All four classes in Star Wars Battlefront have three default abilities that can be modified or replaced using star cards. This class's default abilities are the Thermal Detonator, Vanguard, and scan dart. The thermal detonator is exactly how it sounds and what you'd think a thermal detonator is. It's a throwable grenade that packs a deadly punch. The vanguard ability pulls out a scatter gun that builds up no heat and also increases your speed, ideal for close quarters combat. I use this to flank enemies because it's a like a one-shot scatter gun, just like the first battlefront, so you get around them, shoot them, they're dead, just keep going, and it, it's really good at killing people. <laughs> and the scan dart is fired out of a launcher and will highlight enemies for you and your teammates. This is like the scan pulse from the last game, except you can fire it, so it's like a scan pulse. Fire it into the woods and you can see where the enemies are hiding and you can use your vanguard ability and go flank them. Like I said before, star cards can be used to change and modify the class and its abilities. For example, the vanguard refresh card can be used to modify the vanguard ability. Now when you get a kill with the vanguard ability, all of your other star cards have their cooldowns reset. So I use this one personally, it's very helpful if I've just used a thermal detonator and then I use the vanguard ability and kill someone, I will have my thermal detonator back immediately. The combat enhancer star card completely replaces the scan dart, so you no longer have the scan dart, instead you have an ability that when activated will regenerate your health faster than it's just sitting and waiting around wood. I also use this one instead of the Skandar. I just found the Skandar kind of useless, didn't really help me, so I just replaced it with the Combat Enhancer. And there is another type of star card, is the Boost card, and instead of modifying or replacing your abilities, this one modifies the Soldier. Uh, the Assault Training star card gives you a small amount of health for each defeated enemy, so an, uh, again a very helpful star card. Kill someone, you get some health back. Kill someone, you get some more health back. The Assault class is really just your default class. You kill some people, get some boosts, throw a grenade, nothing really too special about it. All star cards in the game and blasters and your soldier itself can be upgraded and modified and you can do this by using your credits and buying crates and upgrading your star cards and adding modifications to your blasters using crafting parts. If this video helps you use the Assault class a little bit better, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. It is greatly appreciated. And the Heavy class is coming up next, so until the next video, may the Force be with you.